This video is part three of long-term contracts using the percentage of completion method. In the previous two videos, we looked at how to account for long-term contracts for the first two years of the example. Now we're going to look at the final year. We're going to first start with our T accounts. 2021, we ended construction in progress with a balance of 14962594 billing on construction contract with 11500000 and accounts receivable with 500000 I've carried forward those ending balances to be the beginning balances for 2022. Now let's go ahead and complete 2022 and um, look at all the journal entries relating to that year. Just like we did, we're going to look at construction costs incurred. At the top line is cumulative, and they've given that amount in the question. So construction costs incurred at the end of 2022. This is a total amount incurred. By end of 2022, they told us was $20,100,000. So let's just go ahead and enter that in that top column. Estimated cost to complete the project at year end. It's zero. We are done with the project, so we have no more costs that we anticipate we'll have in 2023. That gives us total estimated and actual construction cost to be equal to 20,100,000. Now we are ready to figure out the percentage of completion. It's complete, so the percentage of completion is 100%, but let's just go through the numbers anyway for practice. So to calculate the percentage of completion, we're going to take cumulative actual construction cost to date, which is the 20,100,000, and then we're going to divide that by total estimated and actual construction cost, which is this total here, 20,100,000, and then multiply that by 100, and it's going to give us 100% completion. So if it's 100% completed by the end of 2022, we get to recognize 100% of the revenue for the contract. So we get to recognize 100% of the 25 million contract price, which is 25 million. Now, can we recognize the entire 25 million in 2022? No, because we've already recognized some of that in previous years. How much have we recognized in previous years? We've recognized 14,962,594. We had recognized 59.85% in previous years. So we've got to subtract that. So we can recognize 25 million minus 14,962,594 which equals 10,037,406. We can recognize that much revenue, but how much are the construction costs that were incurred for 2022? They told us how much was the total construction cost incurred until end of 2022. We can take that number and subtract the construction costs that were incurred at the end of 2021 to come up with the construction costs incurred in just 2022. So we take the difference of the cumulative numbers at the end of 2022 and 2021. And it tells us that we've incurred $8,100,000 of construction costs just in 2022. Now we can calculate our gross profit. Our gross profit is revenue minus construction costs incurred during the year, which is $1,937,406. That is the total calculation. Now let's go ahead and record the journal entries. We, there are four journal entries that we need to record every year, but since it's the final year, we are going to have an additional journal entry. So the first one we always record is construction costs incurred. So we're going to recognize that we incurred $8,100,000 of construction costs during the year. That gets debited to construction in progress 
and credited to various accounts. Again, that gets debited here and credited every time the company spends money towards this project. Next, we're going to look at progress billing during the year. This is how much they build the customer. Every time they build the customer, we're going to debit accounts receivable and credit billings on construction contract. During 2022, they build the customer 13 million 500,000 and we're going to credit 13 that's one zero less I'm so sorry I keep typing one less zero 13 million 500,000 so debit accounts receivable credit billings on construction contract for the amount billed Every time the customers pay us, we're going to decrease accounts receivable by crediting accounts receivable and increasing cash by debiting cash. In 2022, the customer paid us 14 million. So we're going to debit 14 million cash and credit accounts receivable for 14 million. Those are the three, um, first three journal entries. Then the fourth one is to recognize our revenue. To recognize our revenue, we're going to debit the revenue of 10 million. I'm sorry, not debit. We're going to credit the revenue of 10 million. 037406. Revenues are increased by credit. So credit 10 million. 037406. We're going to debit the construction cost to cost of construction. 8,100,000, but our total debit is not equal to total credits. We're off by the amount of gross profit, and the gross profit is a debit, and it gets debited to construction in progress. So we're going to debit 1,937,406 to construction in progress. That takes care of your journal entry to recognize revenue. Again, to recognize revenue, debit construction progress for the gross profit of 1937406 debit cost of construction 8100000 credit revenue 10037406 total debits equal total credits since the construction is complete we do have one more journal entry that we need to perform at the end of the contract at the end of the contract we need to close out the construction in progress and the billings on construction contract. So that is one final journal entry we need to do at the end of the contract. So let's see how we close it out. Basically, we need to bring both these accounts to zero. Construction in progress. Let's see what the total dollar amount is in this account. I'm going to do the total here in a separate area. It would be the three numbers added together and we find that those three numbers total 25 million. I have a debit balance of 25 million in construction in progress. To close this out, I'm bringing, closing means bringing the balance to zero. I will need to credit 25 million to this account. So that just closed out construction in progress. But if I credit something here, I need to debit another account. The account I'm going to debit is Billings on Construction Contract, which is also an account I want to close. So I know that I'm going to have to debit 25 million for my total debits to equal total credit. So I'm just going to do that 25 million debit right here so you can see the debit and the credit. But did I actually close it out? Let's total this account. If you did everything correctly, at the end of your contract, your billings on construction contract should be the entire 25 million that the company agreed to pay, uh, the, or the customer agreed to pay our company. And we have billed our customer the entire 25 million. So billings on contract has a credit balance of 25 million at the end of the contract. Construction in progress has a debit balance of 25 million at the end of the contract. So to close out these two accounts, I simply debit one and credit the other 
and both those end up with zero balances and going forward the company has no more construction in progress or billings on construction contract for this specific project. That's it for this video. Be sure to work through the entire example over and over again until you are comfortable how to calculate these numbers, to calculate the revenue using the percentage of completion method, to calculate the gross profit, and all the journal entries every year of the contract. That's it for this series of videos. If you have any questions, please let me know.